The Brad Johnson Show. I'm turning losers like you into winners like me. You're about to enter the winning zone. Hey guys, and welcome to the Brad Johnson Show. I am your host, Brad Johnson. Uh, not with me here today is James Kirkland. <sighs> Again, um, yeah, it's this whole thing. Like he was like, "Oh, I got, I got to move because I can't afford the the rent in this this spare bedroom that you've been letting me stay in one of your houses." And I'm like, "Dude, I'm not, like, I'm not charging you that much." And he's like, "Well, you're not paying me enough." And oh, anyway, so he's moving out. Um, I think back to his his uh, his aunt's house or something like that. Anyway. Uh, just ridiculous. Um, yeah, he, so yeah, he couldn't make it to the podcast today. So I think I'm going to have to fire him potentially, but, uh, we'll, we'll see where that goes. Anyway, I am here. So that, that's all that matters is that I, Brad Johnson and here am here. So in case you didn't know, we have been doing a lot of extra video content, uh, for the Brad Johnson show. And most of that is contained within the Brad Johnson show course. If you haven't heard of that, about that yet, then what have you been doing with your life? Seriously? Like, seriously, what, what have you been doing with your life? You don't know about the Brad Johnson Show uh, course. Anyway, uh, so today's episode is a little um, little sample video that I put together where I talk about online coaching, becoming an online coach. Now, you can't see the the actual video if you're just listening to this on a podcast. So I would recommend that you click the link in the, in the description, go watch the actual video, because it's awesome, it's, it's got me in it, and uh, it will also help point you to the Brad Johnson course. So you definitely want to check out this video uh, where it's me talking, but I'm giving you the audio of this video in this audio format on the podcast so that you can go uh, listen to it and then you can go watch it with your eyes because science has proven that, that eyes help you learn things. Um, right, so anyway, that's, um, yeah, I've uh, yeah listened to the audio, the audio here. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get, uh, James back here to help, um, with, or not help, but, you know, he's, he's got a job to do as far as, like, the pr- production of the podcast and things like that. So, um, yeah, we're, uh, working on that. Uh, like I said, man, it is so hard to find good help these days. So if anybody that you know is interested in becoming, you know, an assistant to the host, uh, I would love to talk with them. Um, best way to contact me is through Instagram direct message at Brad Johnson show or Twitter direct message at Brad Johnson show or Facebook direct message at Brad Johnson show in case you hadn't been able to guess that. So enjoy this little, uh, video where I talk about online coaching and how to become an online coach. It's very simple, very easy. Here's what it takes. I'm going to lay it all out for you exactly in the format that you need to become an online coach and start making some money as an online coach. So enjoy this people and I'll catch you on the flip side. Yo, guys, what's up? Brad Johnson here, right here, making this video where I'm going to be asking a question. A question that I'm sure you have thought about before. And the question is, can anyone become a successful online coach? And and by successful, I mean someone who makes like multiple figures per month. And by figures, I mean money. And maybe even more than that. Now, the question is, can anybody do that? Now, the answer is going to shock you. So let's right, just go right into it now. All right, so first and foremost, I want to just jump right in to uh, the things that you don't need in order to become a successful online coach, okay? There's a lot of just extraneous stuff that is just completely, like, just not things that you need and that people in the mainstream will tell you that you need, but they don't know what I know, obviously, because they're not me, but I am. So I can tell you the things that you don't need and the things that you need. So first and foremost... You do not need a coaching degree, okay? Uh, most people think, oh, you know, but uh, but I need a coaching degree. Like, I, I got to get certified and, and uh, have the university tell me that I, I'm worth something. And you know, all this stuff, and you don't need that, okay? You see, most, most of the people that I work with as a professional consultant and a professional coach designer person don't have degrees, okay? They don't need them. They I told them they didn't need them, and it turned out to be true. So what I told them was true, that they didn't need a degree. Okay, yeah, I mean, the, if you want to have a, a coaching degree in, in like the field that you're moving into, um, like say you know you want to you want to do heart surgery or something, you want to be a heart surgeon coach, and, you know maybe think about getting a degree. But even then, it's not necessary if you're just being a coach. Now, why is it not necessary to have some kind of coaching degree or or any type of degree for that matter? Well, you see, because the reason is, and this is the answer: people don't. 
care. It's really just that simple, okay? The only people who care about degrees are people that have degrees. Now, I have a lot of degrees, but I know when to care about them and when not to care about them. I care about them when I'm supposed to, and I don't when I'm not, okay? And that's, you know, people care about their own degrees. I care about my degrees. I mean, I can show, you, show them to you. They're on, on my office wall back over there. And there's a ton of them, and they're beautiful, and I have them nicely framed in, in gold gilt uh, frames and stuff, and the frames are very high quality as well, and were cost a lot of money. But, uh, you know, people, more than that, like, they, they can see my, my, um, my degrees and be like, well, those are great, those are pieces of paper that are beautiful in beautiful frames, but can you get results, okay? They think, the people who, who ask about degrees, they don't really care about the degrees, see? They just want to see your work ethic, but also, like, hey, as a coach, can you get me results? Yes or no, okay? They don't care about, you know, there's some words on a paper, uh, they don't care about your background, nobody cares about any of that, and, you know, that works in your favor, okay? Because you don't have to have all this university stuff and these degrees and this experience, uh, all you have to do. All you have to do is be able to get so many results, okay? So don't waste your time going to, to college and, and getting a degree and going to some sort of school that says it's going to certify you and all that stuff because it's literally just, it's, it's just time where you could be making more money than you're making right now, but you're not because you're spending it giving somebody else money to tell you how to make money. So how does that even make sense? Because they're not even telling you how to make money, which that might be worth paying for. But in this case, they're just giving you a piece of paper in exchange for your money. And money is paper. So why don't you just keep your paper, have them keep their paper, and everybody's happy. And you can go on to becoming something that is not theoretical, something that is not just something you talk about, but something that you do, okay? You don't need to just do all that stuff that doesn't matter. Most importantly, uh, I, want to, I just want to say this, don't get a business degree, okay? I, most of the people that all the degrees that I have, which I have a lot, none of them are business degrees. Why? Because business degrees are the biggest waste of time that you could possibly have. Okay, uh, I've made so many millions and millions of dollars, people. Like I can't even count how many millions of dollars that I have made. And that's all without a business degree, okay? It helps maybe, sometimes, some people. I don't know, but it's definitely not necessary. In fact, you know, most people that I know who are actually like crushing it in the hashtag business space, if you ask them about business degrees, they would laugh in your face. They would say, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. That's all fine and dandy, but it's stupid at the same time. Because in order to make money, you, you, okay, it's just this simple, okay? Uh, you don't need a degree and... Otherwise, what you don't need, the other thing that you don't need is you don't have to be the, the number one expert in your field, okay? Because chances are, if you are in any kind of fields that I'm in, I'm already the number one ex expert. So just, you know, give up that give up that dream of becoming the number one expert because that's me. Um, but yeah, that's a misconception that a lot of people have that they have to be the expert. And they're like, well, I'm, I'm no pro. I'm not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, I don't have, you know, 10 years of experience. So I'm like, well, I'm telling you right now, you don't need that. Just like you don't need a paper degree that you give somebody other paper to get that paper you don't need that you also don't need experience all you really need is being just you know a couple steps ahead of your average client now that that's really it I used to think all the time, you know, <laughs> my, when I had my first first business, um, that I needed to be, you know, just the best person out there, and you know, that's what I strove for. And like, I needed to be the most attractive guy, and I needed to never get rejected. And then, you know, funnily enough, um, I, I thought I needed all that stuff in order to be able to teach people stuff. And and funnily enough, I totally landed there. I was the most attractive guy. I was the most successful guy. I I was ten out of ten expert in my field. But funny enough, um. You know, that, that kind of gave me this picture of myself, which turned out to be very accurate. And, um, you know, a, a lot of my clients were like, wow, Brad, there's something different about you. So that really gave me an advantage. Now, I'm telling you this because that's me, but that's probably not you, okay? So since that's not you, you don't strive for that, okay? Instead, what you want to strive for is being just open and honest about your failures because chances are your clients, instead, of, like since they can't really look up to you because of your, your past failings and stuff, um, what you want them to do instead is appreciate your honesty, okay? So just that, that transparency and just being real, you know? That, that authenticity is what you want. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's really what we're talking about here.
Is the moment as you, as somebody who's not me, open up and just show people that no, I'm I'm not an expert, I'm not perfect, and obviously, I mean, just look in the mirror. You aren't. People are going to start resonating with you, and you know what happens when people resonate with you. Um, good things that's uh, start happening. So I mean, that's the crazy thing. I mean, if you've heard me before, uh, resonating. I mean, just just write that down. That is a a word. Do people resonate with me, right? Okay. So as long as you're just like the two or three steps ahead of the average person and they can resonate with you. Now, like I said, write that word down. Resonate. That is ideal. That is perfect. That is what you want. Okay. That is the sweet spot of success. That's actually what I call it is hashtag sweet spot of success. Um, now, connected to that, most people also think, oh, well, you know, I'm not an expert in anything. Like, there's nothing that I know that it could help other people. Well, here's the thing. As true as that may be, you would be surprised at how uh, the fact that there are people who are even worse off than you are, okay? Now, that may shock you. That may give you nightmares. It definitely does for me uh, give me nightmares to know that um, there are people worse off than you. Um, so, But in order to c overcome that, like you just have to ask yourself a simple question, okay? What are the things that you have accomplished in your life? Now, this is probably going to take you some, maybe months of soul searching and, uh, yeah, just really, really diving deep. But just ask yourself some questions. Have you ever lost um, any amount of weight, okay? Now, chances are you have at some point, um, even if you gained it right back and double then chances are you, you still lost weight at some point. Have you ever, you know, like gained some muscle mass? Now, again, chances are you've lost whatever you gained, um, but you did it at some point, maybe. Definitely, you know, between in your teenage years, I, I would hope that you gained some muscle mass and kind of lost some of that baby fat. So just, you know, capitalize on that. Uh, have you ever uh, overcome something like a, a, a breakup? Okay, or or depression, or you know, a disease. I'm sure a lot of you people have a lot of depression and a lot of diseases. I just I know my audience. Um, have you have you ever learned to just have to deal with a disease that maybe just kind of chronic? Uh, how about uh, you know somebody passing away, or or have you ever learned how to make money? Now, the fact that you're watching this on some kind of internet connected device tells me that you do know how to make some money. Probably not very much, but some. Uh, and that's the start. So how about getting clients or uh, social media? Like, can, can you post on social media? Have you ever, you know, like used social media uh, ever? Have you ever, you know, uh, help a, help, help a friend as they build their social media or like uh, even sports? Have you ever, are you good at a sport? Maybe even an e-sport. I mean, there's so many things that, like I said, it's going to take diving really deep, getting down deep in, into places that you didn't even know existed in your life. And once you get inside those places, that's when you're going to start to be like, wow, maybe I do, maybe I'm not worthless. Maybe I'm not completely worthless. And maybe I can offer something to the world. I mean, it's, it's crazy that uh, most people can. Uh, you'd be surprised. You would be really surprised. I know I have been over and over. And I don't get surprised very easily because I see things coming. Uh, <laughs> I have 20-20 vision when it comes to forethought. Um, also, you don't need to have years of experience in, in coaching or your field. Uh, it goes together with what we said before. All you need is proper positioning in a niche market. Okay, let me say that again. Proper positioning in a niche market. Okay, I want you to write these words, right? We, we already wrote down resonating. So resonate, proper position, niche market. Write them down, okay? That is what you need. All you need in order to succeed as an online coach, okay? And make money online. That is what I want to talk to you about right now is, is how to position yourself so that you can just, you know, get money and help people, as, as many people as possible, okay? People always think, like, the more people I can help, the better, right? Um, well, the more, the more that you have a large potential audience, the more people in your potential audience, the better. But that is not the case, okay? What I'm saying here very eloquently is niche. Okay, well, let that word sink in to your brain, niche, okay? You want to figure out one problem, and you can help somebody with that one thing and figure out how to make a profit off of it. That one problem is fixed, boom, that's a niche market, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You, you don't want that, that giant overarching wide net approach, okay? That is lame. That is totally lame, okay? So, and that's something that I help people do all the time in the Brad Johnson course, 
There's a vibrant community in there where you can comment on videos and I comment back and help people find their niche market. And that's something that I usually charge thousands and thousands of dollars for. It is a great skill that I have and most people don't have. Um, but yeah, I, I can help people find exactly what they should do as far as a niche market and then monetize it, okay? A lot of people need help. They, they may know their niche market even, which is very rare. But even if they do know their niche market, they don't know how to monetize it. So what I can do is, as small as they may seem to, to, to you, and as small as they may actually be in reality, I can help you analyze your strengths, help you find a good fit, a, a good business model that is just a perfect fit for you as a person. And then we, I, I, I will teach you how to make money at that, okay? That's, that's really great. And then obviously, we help you position yourself so that you're in that proper niche market. And uh, the next point is, is you gotta be willing to work hard, okay? There's that hustle and the grind, as far as uh, what you do and what the kind of coffee you drink as far as the grind, um, which both go together into making having that, that, that work ethic that is so on point and on fire and pushing you forward. But at the same time, I mean, realizing that there is no one little secret thing. There's, that, there's no secret little trick. I mean, if I could bottle my awesomeness, that would be the one secret trick. But ha my hashtag winnerliness is not bottleable, okay? I've had scientists look into this. So you can't be expecting me to give you some little trick. You got to be willing to work hard. Okay. You got to work hard. So here, here's the great thing though. When you're working on something that you love, okay, something that you, is just passionate, uh, you're, you're excited about it. When you're working on, on something that's even making you money and it's something that you also love, then uh, it's something that's uh, giving you results quickly and, and you're seeing it, it pay off and, and you're starting to actually make some money and you can afford to buy more than just rice and beans. I mean, if you can start getting those results really fast, I mean, <laughs> this stuff is really good. I mean, this stuff is, is awesome to work on, okay? So working hard is not a problem. Because if you, you see somebody's passion just, you know, get uh, increase more and more as they work, then they work more and more, and their passion increases more. And it's just this, this vicious cycle that's vicious in a good way. And that's how I describe it. So wh why do you think? You know, most people work. Most people work because they have to make a paycheck. Wouldn't you love to work so that you could love what you're doing? And that's why you work is because you love it. Uh, I mean, I'm working all the time, like 24 seven and even more than that. Sometimes, um, you know, I'm working on my birthday. Okay. Not because nobody throws me a party and you know, people forget that it's actually my birthday and I end up sitting all alone <clears throat> in my mansion or on my yacht and having to just, you know, order Uber Eats because the chef decided to take the day. That's not why I work on my birthday. Okay. That is not, has nothing to do with it. It's because I love what I do because it's amazing. Kind of like me. Okay. So, I mean, it's the greatest thing in the world that I get paid to do what I get to do. I mean, how cool am I? And also is that, um, so I mean, getting paid to do something you love is basically like getting paid to do your hobby, which I mean, <laughs> that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's basically, it's something that I would do for free, except I you would have to make money at it as well. But I mean, getting paid to help other people stop being so hashtag loserly and start being hashtag winnerly like me. I mean, just it brightens their day. It makes them happy when, I mean, it's the best thing in the world. You people don't even have any idea, no conception of what I'm talking about here. Okay. You know, you know what I said? Um, I, I can't remember who said it, but if you love what you do, you'll never work a single moment in your life. Now, Actually, I think I said that. Um, anyway, that, that's really amazing, right? <laughs> I just said it, and it is really amazing. Now, on top of that, uh, you do need to really want to, you know, help people. And uh, by that, I mean, if you're in a coaching business, doing any kind of online coaching stuff or consulting or, you know, any kind of service you're providing people, you got to be okay with helping those people, okay? You, you can't be someone who's like super narcissistic or, you know, only cares about themselves. That would be so hashtag loserly. Um, you should, you got to be somebody who actually, you know, can tolerate people. And uh, not the type of person who's just sitting, you know, at a computer all day, just staring at a screen and not actually interacting with people. That is that is definitely not ideal. Okay, um, so you do need to be willing to say, hey, you know, I I'm too, I'm totally cool with helping others. Like I, I want to see them get better. I want to be a, a positive influence, like Brad Johnson is. I mean, that needs to be the person that you are. Okay. I've, I've kind of already touched on this before, but uh, you also need to be willing to make money.
Now, when I say that, some people may be like, wait, like willing to make money? Like, what does that even mean? Okay, what that means is that most people don't realize that they are, are have been the thing that is holding themselves back from making money their entire lives, okay? Um, this, this doesn't, um, yeah, it just, it blows my mind how much people don't understand what money is like, okay? Um, you know, if you're the type of person who's just like, who cares about money? Like, I don't even need it. It's like, I've got a farm and I've got animals and I just milk a cow and, and drink right that, uh, from that. And that's all I need. Um, and you know, if that's you, uh, more power to you. I think you definitely need to balance your diet with some, some power greens. Cause I mean, how are you going to, you know, get the fiber that you need if you're just drinking milk? That is definitely not healthy. I would not recommend it. Um, but you know what I found is, and this is speaking from personal experience of a, of, of a hashtag winner, the, the more that money that I've made, the more I've understood the importance of uh, handling that money properly, but then also how the money, like, I mean, if you, if you want to buy nice things, if you want to travel the world, you know, uh, spoil your family and your, and your friends, if you have any, um, you know, spoil your kids, if you also have any of those, you know, drive awesome cars like I do all the time, my Bentley, man, I tell you what, just things like that, okay, whatever it is. Uh, if, if that's the type of person that you are where you're like, okay, I want to get to that point where I can travel the world, I can globe trot, I can buy myself a Bentley like Brad Johnson has, okay? Uh, if that's, if, then this is for you, okay? This type of online coaching is a, like online uh, business stuff, online coaching, online consulting, uh, any kind of that, then this is for you, okay? If you want to actually get to that point where you are making serious money online without really having to do much work, but at the same time, working really hard, okay? As I said before, as well, uh, you need to know how to find your own strengths, even though you don't need to know that, because I will show you, and then I'll show you how to monetize them, because that's my specialty, and that's what I'm really, really good at, among a lot of other things, including underwater Zumba. Uh, but again, okay, I can totally help you out with that. I want you to get in touch with me, okay? That is the biggest thing. And the other biggest thing that is probably bigger than the other biggest thing is that you need to get the Brad Johnson course, okay? Now, I, I will, I will I'll touch on this a little bit more. Uh, link is down in the description of this video. You can find it all over on our social mediums at Brad Johnson Show. Uh, I mean, just do that, people. Get the course. That is where you're gonna get. You're gonna start this journey to finding your strengths, being able to monetize them, and and growing your niche to be the perfect small size of growth that it needs to be on the small side. Okay. So, um, and maybe you already know your strengths. Maybe you're just like, wow, I totally know my strengths. And to you, I say, dude, rock on, okay? But you need to be aware that, uh, you know, 99% of people's lives, like, they live them not knowing what their strengths are. So if you do know, like, like I said, you know, that's good. But um, you also may have strengths in addition to the strengths that you thought you had that you didn't know you had because you were so focused on the strengths that you thought were your actual strengths when in actuality, those weren't your actual strengths. So you have to find that, and then you need someone to help you uh, walk along that path to how to monetize, okay? Proper positioning, okay? Niche market, okay? Let's say that a niche market. And obviously, you need to know how to generate clients, obviously, okay? The, no business is a business without clients, unless, you know, you... you uh, yeah, that's very true. No business is a business without clients. And Brad Johnson said that, and you can quote me on that. Um, there's a lot of people who they're like, uh, well, you know, I started my business, and um, you know, thanks for everything, and it's it's great, yeah, absolutely amazing. And uh, and I asked them, I just stop and I say, hey, brother, sister, cool, okay, you started your own business, great. Now, how much are you making? And they're like, well, you know, I haven't really made any money yet, but the, but the biz. I'm like, no, okay, shut up, shut up. It's not a business. If you haven't made any money, it's not a business. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but there's a reason they call me the bubble burster. Brad the bubble burster it is because if you've been working on your business for longer than, I don't know, like about two weeks, about two weeks, and you haven't got any money yet, you're doing something wrong, okay? And chances are you don't even know what that wrong thing is. Uh, and but you're just like, oh well, I'm I'm happy and and you know I'm like meditating and I got like purpose and you know and I'm like you know just, just shut up like that is not going to pay your bills, okay? You got bills, unfortunately, and you need to learn how to deal with those. And you, the way you deal with them, generally speaking, is with money. So, I mean, if you've got uh, just that day job and no purpose and doesn't allow you to travel all the world, and uh, you've got to have money for that, okay? That's what we're talking about here. You, you can't have a business without money, and you can't do the stuff that you want to do without money. So, yeah, and thusly, you need to learn how to generate clients. And <laughs> on a side note, okay, you don't need Facebook.
okay? You don't need Facebook ads to generate clients, okay? You don't need a giant social media following like I have in order to generate clients, although it certainly helps. Uh, you don't need to have it, okay? You don't need that degree, okay? You, uh, like we talked about already, you just get rid of that. You, you honestly, you don't even need a website, uh, let alone a funnel, like to actually like get clients and and boost yourself up to like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve figures a month, okay? It's super easy. Uh, you don't need to know any of that stuff. You just need a couple of things. It's really that simple. So get rid of the, get rid of the ideas of those jokers out there telling you, oh, it's you know, Facebook ads and whatever, and uh, just blah, blah, blah. I mean, you don't need to invest a ton of money into, you know, doing all that stuff and getting your degree. Um, you know, you can get to that 12, 13, 14, 15 figures a month um, without all that stuff, okay? Now, next point, you do need to know how to generate clients. And most importantly, you do need to be able to take massive freaking action okay <laughs> fans of the brad johnson show know right where that came from so uh yeah you got to be able to take that massive freaking action this is is something that you know what's it called the um the secret okay that was a book that um there was some argument technically i uh i wrote it and uh you know somebody kind of stole it out from under me and stuff but anyway it's 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 about taking action it's not it's not about just waiting for things to happen to you you know once once uh once i finally finish school or once i finally you know get my teeth fixed or whatever it is uh it's not when you feel ready okay you got to push past that all these things they're just they're just fancy words for procrastination which is also a fancy word but they are more fancy words for that fancy word Okay, so it's just it's you being scared, it's you being lazy, and I'm not okay with that. Okay, this is your Uncle Brad telling you not okay, being fat and lazy. Okay, the world is tough, but you know if you work hard, then you can get rewarded for taking that action. And uh, otherwise, you know life is just going to crush you and destroy your soul and slowly just roll over you with the weight of a million suns and just completely crush your life. Okay, if you don't take action. Uh, that can be very, very dangerous, though, taking action. You know, stuff in this video, like, I'm probably pumping you up. Like, that's one of, another one of my amazing skills. I'm, I'm getting you going. Like, you're passionate. You're ready to go conquer the world right now. But um, you may be, like, you know, feeling like one of those wind-up cars that doesn't, like, is bonking into the wall. Okay? If that is you right now, then I want to point you in the right direction. Okay? Stop wasting your time with uh, with all this, uh, you know, stuff that's just procrastination stuff. Instead, learn to execute properly. Now, the good thing is that with the proper positioning and the right niche market and knowing how to sell and being able to get clients and being able to find your strengths and taking that massive freaking action, we can help you with that. And by we, I mean me. Okay. We've got, I've got something really cool for you. It's called the Brad Johnson show video course. Now the link is down in the description. If you just want to click on that, the first two episodes, you can kind of get a feel for it. And also, I mean, I would love to talk to you at Brad Johnson show on all the social mediums, Brad Johnson show at gmail.com, which we're getting that fixed, um, to be a custom one very soon. Make a note of that, please. <sighs> Uh, yeah, so make, uh, I, I want to help you start becoming that successful online coach, that online consultant, that online server, service provider. Like I mentioned before, if you already have a skill and you're really good at it, but you don't know how to monetize it, I mean, get in touch with me, all right? I want to figure out how to monetize that for you so that you can make money and, you know, as a thank you, maybe I'll make some money too. Uh, anyway, so we'll I'll analyze your strengths. I mean, uh, we'll we'll make it happen. Okay, link is down in the description. Okay, click click that link and um, yeah, you. Uh, I mean, I want you to go to that page and, and figure out what it's all about because it's all about winning and making you more hashtag winnerly than you are right now. Okay, so uh, click that button. Okay, let's let's talk at Brad Johnson Show. I want I want to I, I have questions for you. You probably have questions for me. Let's talk uh, and figure out how we can get that positioning for you. Um, you know, you got to take action. This is the most important. If you don't like, forget everything else I said, but remember it at the same time, and then only think about this part: is that it's all about taking action. Okay. So I'm sure we'll be talking very soon. Get that course. We'll uh, I'll see you on there. And remember, hit me up at Brad Johnson Show, and let's make this happen. Ciao. All right, that was awesome. And by that, I mean me. So thanks, guys, for listening today to the Brad Johnson Show course. Um, very sad announcement. 
um, hate, hate to be saying this actually on the air, or actually being able to being saying this at all, period, the Brad Johnson show is going to one episode per week. And I don't want you guys to cry. I don't want I don't I don't want any tears on this because Kleenex are just so bad for the environment. Like, don't even get me started. So if you do cry, please just you know f- find a leaf or something. Like, care care about the earth. It cares about you. Seriously. Um. So yeah, one 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 show a week, and uh, that has a lot to do with a lot of things, but partially is due to. Okay, so basically, brand new studio, uh, kind of did it on uh, plans of having the uh, course, uh, you know, sell more than it has. Not that it hasn't sold a lot <laughs> at all, but uh, yeah, you know, it, it takes a lot of money to to make the the Brad Johnson show happen. I mean, my time is very val- valuable, so uh, yeah, they uh, the course is, you know, the the sales have just kind of. Yeah, less less than ideal, I think is what is what you would say that they have been. So, uh, yeah, one one episode a week. Sorry about that, people. Um, like I said, don't cry. But if you do, you know, be responsible. Um, but you know that that can change. That can always change back to two episodes a week. It could even go even more than that if you know there was enough purchasing of the Brad Johnson course. It is a real thing, people. I keep talking to people and they're like oh, the Brad Johnson course, like that's funny. I'm like no, it is a real thing, people. I actually recorded a video course that is on Thinkific. You can click the link down in the description below or tap the sh- podcast show notes or it's all over on our social media at Brad Johnson show. Just get that course. Zen. Peace. Moving forward. I definitely want to go back to two episodes a week. Definitely want to go up to three, maybe four, maybe five episodes a week. I think there's five episodes, five, five days in a week, at least that many. So we could do that, but it's going to take your help because this podcast is, you know, a labor of love. It's me loving you and you more so loving me. So make it happen, people. Go buy the course. Tell your friends about it. Get them to buy the course. Get them to subscribe to the podcast. All that little stuff helps, and it helps us keep on the air. So please do that uh, so we can go back uh, away from 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 just one episode a week. It just, man, it, it hurts. I, I tell you what, it's just not as hashtag winterly as I usually am, and it's, it's a weird place to be, and I don't like it. So uh, with your help, though, we're going to get back to two episodes a week. So look for your episodes every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm going to keep coming to you no matter what, but uh, I need your help to, to get back to Thursdays as well. So if you want to do that, click uh, click the show notes and uh, buy the course. Well, uh, yeah, I'll have an episode for you on Tuesday. Hopefully James is done moving by then. How long can it take to move? My goodness. Anyway, we'll talk to you next time. Ciao. You've just listened to an episode of awesomeness. Now, go out and spread the awesomeness and help others fix the mess that is their life and help them stop being a loser and start winning in business, health, and their personal life by getting them to listen to The Brad Johnson Show. Book your face, tweet your tweets, and insta your grams at Brad Johnson Show. The Brad Johnson Show. Winners only.